All right, everyone. So let's take this a step further. And instead of just inserting the geometry, let's add another field that has like name or something. Um, so first thing we're going to have to do in Python is we need to change our data here. So instead of just being a tuple like this, we need each, we need this to be another tuple like this. And uh, we have to insert another value here. So let's insert, um, I don't remember the order of these. <laughs> let's just call it point 0.1 for now. Point 0.1 and then separate this by comma. And then basically we'll do the same thing here. Um, this needs to be in a tuple itself. And then the first thing in here is point two. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but we have a list and inside the list we have a tuple and inside the tuple we have two values and one value is just a string and the other value is another tuple that has the coordinates in it. So same thing here. Point three. I would put the city names here, but I don't remember the exact order I put them in. So for now, let's just do this. It should illustrate the point. All right, point four. All right. Uh, so the next thing we have to do, so we're importing ArcPy, making this list, creating a shape file, but that shape file is just empty. There's no, we don't have any fields. So we have to, the next thing we have to do is create a field on this. So just Google ArcPy create or add field. All right. Um, so we see here only three things are uh, required. So let's not get uh, worried about how long this looks. I wish they would just make it as simple as possible instead of adding all this extra stuff, but it's okay. Um, all right, so we don't need any of this. So this is just the name of this is actually the name of um, the thing you're trying to add a field to. So in our case, it's new shape file. And then this is the new field name. So let's call it name. And then this is the type and it's going to be text for us. All right. So now we added the field. So let's just make sure that worked. So I'm commenting all that out. And I'm just going to make a new shape file called test five. And I'm just going to open it up in pro and make sure we see a new field called name. All right. Okay, cool. So that looks good. Let's go back here. And now the next thing we're going to have to do is in our search or in our insert cursor, we, we just need to insert more data. So instead of just inserting um, the shape geometry with this shape at X, Y, before we do that, we need to insert um, name. So just like that, this needs to be the exact name of the field. And since in our array here, name comes first, that's why we're specifying it first here. So I think that makes sense. And then the only other weird thing that I, I ran into when we're, when we do it like this, see how before we had this insert row in it, in a, in an array like that, we actually don't need that. And I don't really know why, and I, I didn't look into it, but that is how we have to do it when we're inserting more values. Um, somebody might have a better un understanding of why that is, but um, if you do just comment and let me know, that would be useful. But I didn't spend too much time investigating all that. Um, but yeah, this looks like it should work. So let's just give this a try. Change this to test 
uh, with field. Test with field. All right, let's run that. All right, insert point one, point two, point three, point four. Let's refresh here. All right, let's take a look. So point one is basically that one. Point or yeah, point two is where is it? Yeah, the one in California. This one is point three in Brazil, and this one is in India. Okay, cool. So if you wanted to, you know, you could change. Instead of saying 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, you could uh, say 0 0.1 is like Virginia, 0 0.2 is California, 0 0.3 is South America, 0 0.4 is India, and let's try that. So now we should have that more information. So there you go. That's the basics of it. And you know, you can just add more, more fields if you wanted to, uh, and, and insert them. Um, but yeah, that's the basics. Um, if you guys found this useful, please like, and subscribe, uh, cause it keeps me motivated to keep making more videos. And, uh, as always, thanks for watching.